In another sign of the political climate, the Fort Worth ISD is looking at a resolution like the one Dallas ISD passed last week to ease the fears of students and families concerned about their immigration status. Fox 4's Dion Anglin is tonight in Fort Worth with more. Dion. Yeah, that is right. Uh, this meeting is set to get underway in about a half hour. And as you mentioned, there is at least one agenda item that is getting uh, quite a bit of attention and seems to parallel recent action in other Texas school districts, including in DISD, within DISD and in Austin. Now, the Fort Worth ISD School Board tonight will consider the approval of a resolution as it pertains to immigration matters within schools, schools where 62% of the students are Latino. The formal decree would designate all Fort Worth schools as welcoming and safe. Supporters of the resolution say it basically says no student will have to worry about discrimination based on their parents' immigration status. The Tarrant County Republican Party has urged its members to take a close look at the resolution and show up here and speak at the meeting. Executive Director of the Tarrant County Democratic Party believes the measure is a good thing. The Supreme Court ruled that regardless of a child's immigration status or their parents, they're entitled to a quality education. And it's the exact same thing here in Fort Worth. And if this resolution passes, that's exactly what's going to happen. The Fort Worth ISD is going to further reaffirm that. Now, the resolution in part reads, whereas we want our community to feel that schools and classrooms are safe, welcoming, and inclusive places for all students and all families, regardless of their immigration status. Now, once again, the meeting here begins at 530 officially, and there are already at least 25 people signed up to speak in the public comments um, portion of the meeting. So latest live here now in Fort Worth. Heather, back to you. All right, Dion England, live. Thank you.